Boom, 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 boom. Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kicks. It's time for the six at six. I'm up first. All That's right. Okay with all yeah, 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 go ahead, Pat. Uh, number six, how often do you wash your sheets? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Well, not in my house, probably. In my house, we do it plenty, but probably not enough for a lot of you out there. Huh. A new study shows single men only wash them every four months. Oh. That is accurate. <laughs> I think that's yeah. yeah, that is completely oh. accurate. Oh. Worse than that, 12% say they only wash them when they remember. Oh. So maybe they can learn something from the ladies. 62% of single women say they change their sheets every two weeks. I was a mess before my wife came in my life. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to even tell you <laughs> yeah. how long I would go without washing sure, my sheets. Yeah. She's washing those sheets every week. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, she loves fresh sheets that uh, way. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Larry, uh, when's the last time you washed your sheets? Me personally, yeah. that would be never. Yeah. Never. Yeah. That's what I heard about that. Yeah. 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 He's, he's got people for that. Oh, I mean, yeah. did you ever wash your sheets in college? I don't think I ever I had don't. sheets, to be honest with <laughs> you. I never washed them. I felt like a luxury oh. item. You slept on a bed of hay yeah. <laughs> with your raw onion and bottle of vodka. Hey, we all got to get there somehow. We all have uh, a different path. Everyone's path. journey's different. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. They were nice onions, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, if it's whimsical, we'll put it on TV like this. Willy Wonka tea, a blend of a cardamom and chocolate mixed together in a fantastic black tea blend. It's being described as a swirl of sweet and savory in your cup that's guaranteed to leave a tingle on your tongue. You can order it online from Lake Missoula Tea Company. It's around nine dollars. Wow, for tea? That's a, but it's a tingle on the tongue. Yeah, yeah. All right, number four, a recent viral post gave advice on picking the juiciest watermelon. It identified two photos of male and female melons. But that post was a lie. Uh, According to botanists and fruit scientists, there's no such thing as a male watermelon. There's no such thing as a female watermelon. Mel watermelons, like many other plants, have male and female and flowers, but only the female flower yields fruit. And those fruits have no assigned sex. I'll tell you though, I do love a good melon. Oh yeah, no, you love it's melon huge. season. We're getting yeah. a melon season. Yeah. Getting there. Yeah. You love Exciting. the melons, you always right. have. Right, number three, just because there are some hippos enjoying <laughs> watermelons, let's yeah. take a look. All right. Wow, now look, nice. if they're doing that to a modern melon, imagine what they do to your <laughs> skull. Yeah. 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 Just okay. Okay. This guy's gonna climb right into his mouth. Oh my gosh. Hi, Agemos. And that's just with his jaw. Yeah, yeah. pretty inefficient, though. Like that, the amount that he spilled. Not getting a lot of good no, he fruit. Did. There's more rind than yeah. fruit. Yeah, they should cut that up for him. Huh. Oh, was there more? I said, there was anyway, a lot more. There was a lot more, but hippos you, will kill you dead. Yeah, that's right. all you need to know. Uh, number two, a story about a newly married couple is getting lots of attention on Twitter. Would she take his name? Would he take her name? They weren't sure what they wanted to do, so they let luck decide. They used a coin toss at the altar to choose their last name. The groom won, and the bride took his name. Uh, these days, some people choosing entirely new last names together all together is happening. Uh, what? <laughs> like three people. Sometimes combining their own last names, like Bomash <laughs> or Conrasulo. <laughs> <laughs> you might be on to something there. I haven't really heard it. Or Pot Garden. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we wow. go. You should be a writer here. Right? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh. Yeah. Tomacon Bad. Tomacon Bad. I love it. Uh, all right, try that at home with your oh, names. Oh, gosh. Uh, number one, just back from the Met Gala, but let me clear oh, something up. Oh, yeah. This person was not Jared Leto. Twitter thought it was, the panel on E! News thought it was, so imagine my surprise when the world realized it wasn't him. So let me clear something else up. It wasn't me either. I can't tell you how many people were there yelling out, Conrad, Conrad, on the red carpet. carpet. Donatella Versace, and I had a good laugh about <laughs> that. Uh, you know who actually it was? Who? It was Frederick Robertson from Sweden. Oh, yeah. He's a regular commentator on fashion shows and is the editor of Chief of Boy Magazine. So mm. he's a 
special guy. That's not an easy outfit to pull off. No, no, it's no. not. Or put on. Fun night though. You're up late watching oh, that. Yeah, oh yeah, didn't get to bed till a couple hours ago. Mm. All right, All right well, here we go. Here's what's going on with the.